Today at shopdap.com, we're gonna be showing you how to code facelift Mark 7 LED taillights with our taillight harness. Okay, so it's before we get into specifics on coding for our taillight harness, let's talk about a little bit more information about this. This coding that we're gonna be going over, we're gonna be showing you two versions, one with an app, the other one, the manual coding that you would actually do. This can be done with OBD11 or VAGCOM. Uh, the interfaces are gonna look differently, so if you're asking about how to use it on VAGCOM, same exact process, interface looks slightly different. Uh, we also include coding instructions with all of our taillight harness, uh, and also, very important to know, this coding is specific to our harness. If you're using other people's harnesses, do not try to use this coding. It potentially may not work and would end up uh, giving you a circumstance where either something wouldn't work on your car properly, including you know, brake lights, taillights, turn signals, something like that. So very important, know, make sure you actually have the correct harness for this, otherwise it could potentially be a problem for you. Uh, now, with that said, let's talk about some operation. So this is for the facelift uh, uh, harness. This gives you dynamic turn signals. So if you look at how those taillights operate, you can take a look here. Okay, so we showed you there the operation of these lights. Obviously, they're, they're pretty cool looking lights and they're gonna be very popular for a lot of Mark 7 models. This is for North American US models that this coating is intended for. If you have different, let's say LED taillights and you're from a different part of the world where you had them from the factory, this will not work for your vehicle. This setup would be different as well as so would our harness. So it's important to know that this is for North American models and this coating is specific to these uh, cars using our harness. With that said, let's get into our coding. So here we are in our vehicle, and before we get into our coding, we're gonna be showing you two different options. We're gonna be showing you the app coding, which is something that you can do whether you have a pro version or a non-pro version of an OBD11, or if you want to do the manual version of this coding, you have to have a pro version. So uh, let's first talk about how you would actually go about doing the, uh, the app coding, which is, again, it requires credits, and, and is something that costs money to get credits uh, from OBD11. If you're not familiar with OBD11, before we go into this, I'll make sure we link in the description, as well as on the side here, where uh, we have talked about OBD11, an overview of what it is as a scan tool and stuff like that. So let's go to our car, and we're gonna go to apps. Now, at this current time, uh, let's take a look here. Ours is gonna be right at the top here, DAP, Mark 7 facelift taillight harness. Now, when we look at this, there's gonna be four different versions. There's gonna be standard old BCM, LED old BCM, standard new BCM, and then LED new BCM. And so what we're looking at here is the standard old BCM is going to be on 15 models, and then some, some 15 or 16, somewhere in 15 or 16 is switched over to a new style uh, body control module where there's some variation. So, that information, they have notes about it here on, on the screen for OBD11 where you can, can dig into that for control module versions. You can also look at channel 26 or 27 uh, because those are the major variances. It's actually for rear fog light coating, which is a big difference on uh, Mark 7 models. So if you, they, the different channels need to be coded to make the rear fog work for the different versions of the BCM. So that's the main important part about getting that correct. If you were to code it improperly, what's gonna happen is one of your uh, reverse lights and rear fog lights is, are gonna be switched. So um, that would be the cause of if you had any reverse and rear fog light issues. Your turn signals and brake lights would still work properly. You would just have that information wrong. So you can either find out through this information or you can actually go through and look at channel 26 and 27, which we'll be showing when we get into manual coding. So. Because this car is a 15 and has the old, the old setup, we go from standard old BCM and we put LED old BCM. Now all we do is hold the check mark. It's gonna show you working. Now it says success. 
and we can move on to, to the manual coating. So once you've done that, you're literally done, that's all you need to do. Uh, the other alternative, now we're gonna switch back to stock just so we have all the factory coating. And then we'll get into showing the manual coating, which we have in our instructions here. And we have them laid out pretty cleanly where you should be able to follow along to look at the channel and then the new coating you need to change it to. So we're gonna go ahead and follow along this now. All right, so now we go into our modules, bottom right, blue circle with the three lines, and we're going into central electrics. Now, once we get here, we go to security access. This will allow us to actually perform the setting changes and put in 31347, okay. And you see the login is accepted and we go to adaptation. Now we're gonna scroll down from adaptation. Scroll down from adaptation all the way past all this text. And we are looking for, here is our first channel and that is Leutcha 20BR. All right, now we get into here and our first is right up here. And now we're gonna change that to from 14 to 32. Hit okay. And then our next position we're gonna change is right here underneath. And that's gonna be zero. And next position here where this one right here, we're gonna change to, I'm not gonna try to pronounce these words cause I'll make a fool out of myself. And so this actually is, is uh, power for the information for the, makes the dynamic turn signals function properly. And then B20, we are gonna make not active. And a B20. So this is going to be your brightness. So we're changing that to 127. That's the highest brightness that we're using here. And then C20, we're gonna make not active. And then E20, not active. And then once you're done, you hold your check mark. And it says adaptation accepted. We can back out and go to our next channel, which is 21 BRRC8 right here. And we're going to change our first value to 34. And okay, next value is going to be B21, and that's gonna be not active. And again, change that brightness to 127. C21. Not active. E21, not active. And hold that check mark. And adaptation accepted. Now we move on to 23. Now 23, change in 37 and making that 38. And you're gonna change A23 to not active. C23. I can like sell a phase, okay. Uh, and that's gonna be your left turn signal right here. And then we are looking at CD23. And we want this at 127 because we want those turn signals bright. And we have completed our coding and we're gonna hold that check mark down. Now we go to 24. 
and this is our right turn signal here that we're going to be working on. So change this 37 to 38. Okay. And then we're changing A24 to not active. C24. And that's our right turn signal. And then CD, again, 127 for our brightness. And we're all set there. Now, one thing I want to mention is we actually had people mention that they wanted uh, the brake lights to not be as bright. It's not something I'd recommend messing with just because there's a lot of possibility of having issues around your brake lights not being uh, all the way bright, like getting rear-ended. But it is an option for people who want to go down that road. Now, this last section we're going to be doing is going to involve the rear fog light. So, on this car, because we have an older BCM car, we're going to channel 26. Now again, on, on later model cars, uh, you're going to be going to channel 27. So basically what you're looking at is to see if you have information in here. If you go to channel 26 and it's empty, like you, we would find when we go to 27, there's not gonna be a, as much information here. That's, that's the way you are gonna know to, that those changes are not gonna work. So we are going to be changing uh, channel 26 here and we're gonna be changing the top. Oops. Sorry about that. Top here, and we are changing that to 32. And then the next channel we're gonna be changing is going to be AB. AB 26, and then we're changing that to 127 so our rear fog has full brightness. And hold that down. And then last, we're gonna be going to channel 28. Now, if you look at channel 28, top thing we're gonna be changing, we're gonna go from nine to 32. And then if you go to A28, that's your, it's changing what is a reverse light and you're making that a rear fog. Now that's accepted and our coating is completed. We can test our taillights. Thank you so much for watching our Mark 7 taillight harness coating. Again, purchases for parts like this or any others help support videos just like this one. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.